Okay, this is gonna be a hard situation to deal with. All right, uh, we're covering the Helldivers 2 situation. I don't think I need to explain what Helldivers 2 is. All right, so Helldivers 2 um, recently announced a brand new update, which has left everybody pretty divided. Well, it was divided from day one, but I, I feel like this 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 debate over there is going is going to a downhill battle of sorts. So I'm just gonna read out the post and then we'll discuss it fuck it holy shit it's mostly negative now jesus christ you guys are really not happy about this due to technical issues at the launch of helldivers 2 we are allowed the linking requirement for steam accounts to be optional the grace period will now expire and as such as of may 6 all new helldivers 2 players on steam will be required to connect their steam accounts to the playstation network current steam players on steam will start to see a mandatory login from may 30th and will be required to have linked steam and playstation network accounts by june 4th PlayStation network accounts are free and easy to set up using this link we understand this may be an inconvenience to some of you this step will continue to help build us a better community that you are all proud to be a part of well uh, they are not very happy with that considering the review scores so yeah this this whole thing is kind of just divided into two ways I'm going to explain both sides. One side, I'm going to, we'll call this the, the people who have decided to link to Sony. Their points being that, oh, okay, this is either for technical reasons, uh, which is kind of a dumb reason to go off of, but also the main reason to kind of counterpoint the other side being like, oh, it's really easy to make a PlayStation network account. All right. It takes like two seconds and they kind of are just mocking people based because of that. And look, I'm going to be real with you. I, too, have a PlayStation, okay, and I have a PSN account, so, yeah, this situation does not affect me because, fuck it, I mean, I already have an account, so, yeah. And this is just me saying, by the way, I am, I, I still want to play Helldivers, okay, like, I honestly don't care about the situation, that sounds like a, a bad way of putting it, but, look, I just want to play the game because I just want to play the game, that's it, alright, man, just, just leave me alone. But anyways, as for the other side, be, look, I'm gonna be honest, I did not think, I don't know any more points that the other side has. Oh, right. There's also the whole thing of, oh, there's millions of other games have also required you to log into third party stuff. Ubisoft, EA. I don't know why they're referencing two companies that are very mid when it comes to their games. Although I'm pretty sure they never had any data breaches. Speaking of data breaches, on the other side, their points to strive from because they have so many points. Holy shit. Mainly being that requiring to link to a PlayStation account is kind of, you know, too bad for other countries. I'm not going to get into how many there are that don't have PlayStation. But th but this Steam post kind of but this Steam post here kind of really summarizes how many countries are going to be locked out. <laughs> Who the hell is playing Hell Divers in Madagascar? But also this it also stems from the fact that um there have been at least according to this other Steam post at least seven data breaches in the past year of Sony. <laughs> So, yeah, um, I already know that my shit's already been breached, so it's only a matter of time until my shit gets hacked. Okay, guys, so, uh, it's nice knowing you all. But, yeah, no, um, that's mostly it. <laughs> that's kind of mostly just coming from the Steam reviews. Um, uh, a tweet, or, uh, sorry, a tech, fucking hell, post from the developer, is that someone screenshotted from Discord? Also shows off what the developers allegedly saying. Oh, if it's really that easy and you guys aren't happy with this, then please leave a review saying, oh, go tell the or issue a refund. Which, by the way, apparently everybody on Steam is now apparently issuing re uh, is going to issue a refund for this game. I mean, not surprising because, uh, of course, they're mad about Sony. To which all I'm going to say is, I mean, good luck. I mean, I'm pretty sure everybody who is going to issue a refund is probably bought the game like not. A week ago but you know what hey power to you if you guys actually get that refund i'm gonna be honest i don't i don't know if they're actually gonna get it because i i, I don't think i don't think issuing a refund because of a of a breaching from another party website or whatever you want to call it fucking counts as a issued a refund i'm not sure if it if it'll even work but hey we we have to wait and see all right let's cover the developer post Huh, well, I was also trying to, okay, interesting thing, while I was also trying to look for the posts on Discord, I found this tweet here that actually explains a method that actually describes how the, the, the Helldivers community is going to refund the game, which is by saying that 
they're basically saying to call Sony a third party, which I'm pretty sure Sony's not a third party, th their third party team. But you know what? If it works, it works. So good to you guys. I'm not endorsing this, by the way. I'm just saying that's that's what ha that's what's happening. All right, I found the post uh, from the developer. I can't I can't believe I had to pull up an Asmund Gold video just to do it. All right, I'm pulling up. You can see Asmund's uh, face over there. But now, for importantly, you can also see the developer saying it's not like this is the first time. Even the 14th mainstream game that requires a third-party account, it takes minutes to create, helpful minutes to create, and 120 seconds out of your day to create an email. I'm sorry. And then he just proceeds to say, uh, okay, just forget about it. Change your Steam review and make your displeasure known on the platform where it matters. Okay. I can get what he's trying to say. He's basically saying like, okay, it doesn't take that much to actually do make, make a Sony account. He's trying to say that. So he's bringing up that point. But he's also bringing up the point where, okay, if you guys don't like what's happening, then please make your voice known on Steam and stuff like that. So... Yeah, 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 but everybody kind of took it the wrong way and proceeded to basically shit on him pretty much because they thought he was just being an arrogant asshole who thinks that he who's gotten corrupt by money. So yeah, but I mean, he kind of, I mean, he did make his, I mean, he did, he was right exactly. I mean, everybody's been making their freaking response, has been making their freaking bad reviews, saying, oh, we don't like this shit because you know reasons. But uh, yeah. Uh, as for what I think of the situation, look, I'm gonna be real with you. I already have a PSN account, so I already chose my fate, but it's hard to actually choose a side here because, well, okay, not really entirely, but here, just, just hear me out for a minute because it does not take that long to make a PSN account, okay, because you're really kind of complaining about wasting like two minutes just to make something that you're probably never going to use if you don't have a PlayStation, okay, but at the same time, looking at the history of Sony's shit and how many data breaches they've had, not to mention that there are other controversies, which I'm not even going to get into, and I also think are a little bit pity, but let's not talk about that. Jesus. I'm going to be real with you. Yeah, no, I honestly don't actually kind of like the whole having to sign into Sony thing. Even though I'm pretty sure I've already, even though someone like my, myself, in myself, I've like made like m connected to multiple accounts. I'm probably going to have a data breach of that at some point. <laughs> yeah, no, I can understand why the Helldivers community is very upset with this. So, yeah. While I was also scrolling through Twitter, I also saw someone make a great point. It was fucking Mudahart. Okay, I'm, it was fucking some ordinary, some ordinary gamers. His great point was to base. I think he was him to make the tweet. His great point was to basically say, oh, simple. Just divide the servers up. Which, as as someone who's not a fan of, like, as someone who's a big fan of, like, crossplay and shit, I honestly agree. Like, if, honestly, Sony can't come to an agreement with this, like, they should honestly just fucking split the servers up. Sure, I mean, it's upsetting, but... If they're going to be like that much of a bitch about this whole data link thing, then I, it's probably the best thing to go forward. I mean, heck, I think Sony's been kind of known for like not being great with crossplay. Sure, Nintendo's its own thing, but they're at least very handshake friendly with Microsoft at least and Square Enix, but I don't know if that really counts. But Sony, I mean, they're just the most, they are really hard when it comes to like sharing, connecting their games with other versions of games on different platforms like i remember like minecraft itself like you could not connect to any other like user on minecraft i'm pretty sure the servers were just gone like the the, the servers thing that we had for minecraft that wasn't a thing until like sony actually introduced it and even when it comes to the currency as well like for sony they oh my god i hit my curtains for sony you have to use like titanium coins instead of the normal mine coins. I know it's a weird point to bring up Minecraft, but that's the only thing that I can compare to when it comes to Sony being a little bit protected with their IP. I'm not going to bring up their whole, their soft shit and how they prefer fucking Abby from Last of Us 2 getting railed instead of fucking Stellar Blade shit. Look, I'm not getting into that situation. That's fucking, I'm choosing, I'm staying far away from that situation as best because I don't like it. <laughs> it's just, but, um, yeah, all right, but that's, I think, where it stands. Uh, for what's gonna happen next, I have no damn clue. Either, fuck, hopefully, like, Sony listens to demands, and I guess, you know, they remove this whole requiring to, requiring to, like, re link your account. But, I mean, who knows, maybe we're wrong, and they're right, and this whole linking account, this whole linking stuff requires requires a psn and we're just gonna have a date we're gonna have some kind of leak or something with our accounts happen i don't know we'll have to wait and see one thing i do want to bring up is actually if 
we do manage to somehow turn this around, like 180 this whole situation back to normal. I, I will admit it's a good thing that companies will listen to the player's voice. But I am, this is like, okay, this is like a really dumb take I'm going to say right now. But I worry that the the community, like our, our community, like gamers pretty much. Uh, it's a cringe way to say it, but I'm worried that like our community of gamers, like there are going to be some groups who actually like abuse this whole voice thing and try to like make small try to control smaller companies or something like that and i don't know just fucking hate on them for i don't know dumb reasons i don't know it's just a worry thought that it's just some dumb worry thought that comes to my mind whenever it comes to us voicing our concerns to companies and stuff like that if we do it to big companies i don't mind it but when it comes to like smaller companies that's when i kind of do get worried that we might start abusing our power and stuff I don't know. I guess it also comes down from like watching like people in like di game directs or sorry, game presentations like the Sony State of Play and Nintendo Direct where like most of the time we don't give a shit about all the other games are coming out. And whenever we see a game that we don't care about, we just start spamming shit like boring, boring, move on. Show us a uh, Sonic the Hedgehog butt sex simulator, some shit like that. I don't know. It just, I don't know. it, it kind of make it kind of like downplays the whole me becoming a developer and stuff because like what's the point of becoming a developer when people are just gonna look at your shit and say oh this shit looks boring i want to see sonic the head i want to see sonic i want to see ratchet and clink i want to see link i want to see link i don't care about this other stuff i don't know but at the same time it also you have to like make a game that really does interest a lot of people that actually pulls in a lot of interest so yeah i don't know it's just the dumb it's just a dumb take i've i have on my it's a dumb take i have on this kind of shit but yeah anyways Hopefully the helicopter situation turns around and it, we don't have to link our accounts anymore. I'm probably still going to do it if I do get the game. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I'll see you one later.